Regardless of the number of cows you milk or where you're from, all dairymen have good reason to support the Dairy Pride Act. The purpose of the Dairy Pride Act is ask for enforcement on the misuse of marketing label terms like dairy and milk. I was fortunate to sit down with Congressman Peter Welch, who is a sponsor of the Dairy Pride Act. I encourage you to listen to his insight on the bill. You can also learn more at our website, www.holsteinusa.com, and sign our online petition in support of the Dairy Pride Act. Why wouldn't you want to have an accurate label? So sometimes there are arguments in legislation that are very complicated. This is not one of them. This is really simple. Milk is a product from a mammary gland, and if it meets that uh, requirement, then it's labeled milk, otherwise it isn't. So uh, we have a law in here that's putting the pressure on and it would increase our uh, enforceability. But bottom line, under existing law, the FDA should be stepping forward to make certain that the label is accurate. There are a lot of non-milk products uh, that are labeling themselves as milk and therefore competing. Uh, you know, almond, uh, soy, other plant-based, nut-based, seed-based products. Consumers are going to buy those, but they're not milk. Milk has a specific definition of, with the Food and Drug Administration, and it's from a mammary gland. It's, uh, and, and that is something that uh, the farmers are very proud of. Uh, it's what they market uh, through their checkoff program. And they have a pretty fair and simple request, and that is if a label uh, is going to be attached to a product, make sure that it's consistent with what the product really is. Labels really do matter. And we've seen uh, in the European Union, they do uh, have uh, clarity in and they enforce their labels. And we're seeing here in this country some companies like Trader Joe's insisting that the labels be accurate. But this is a function that consumers should be allowed to rely on. Producers should be able uh, to rely on. And it's not a big enforcement challenge. It's one of the major jobs that the FDA has is for labeling products to make certain that they're accurate. And uh, I believe that it would not take a lot of personnel uh, to enforce the label because I think if you sent notices out uh, to the manufacturers that uh, if they're saying milk when it's not milk, that they could su suffer some jeopardy, they would stop. If I as a consumer am buying a product and there's a label, I don't want to be misled. I want that label to be really accurate. So a lot of consumers will make a choice, and it's their choice. It's not the farmer choice. It's whether they want to buy, let's say, milk, or they want to buy an almond product. They can, the consumer can do that. But if both are labeled milk, then the consumer can easily mistake what the nutritional qualities are that are in milk. Uh, for being what's in an almond or a soy product. And those are different. So consumer has the final say, but if they're going to have an informed choice, let's make certain that the label reflects the reality of the product that they're deciding to buy.